from the church tag sale and bake sale. That's a beautiful thing. We're gonna go pick apples, so I need some energy food. It's good, it's really good. So we're here at our friend's orchard. Their yard is an orchard. And we're picking a ton of apples. And we're gonna try and make uh, apple cider, and then we're gonna try and make hard cider. So we'll see what happens. This is Sophie, the chocolate lab. We're just gonna pick a whole bunch of apples, and then we're gonna put them through a press and see what happens. Look at all those, man. Whoa, whoa, sorry. Really, these are really creamy. They're just good. Okay, so here we are, we're in the yard. Um, I borrowed a friend of mine's press. Um, if you don't have one of those, you should go to find a local orchard and find untreated apple cider. They put uh, preservatives in apple cider, and if you wanna make hard cider, uh, apple cider with preservatives won't work because when you put the yeast in, the preservative kills the yeast because that's the idea of preservatives to keep it from fermenting. So um, I also got some neat this is a liquid uh, yeast I got from the homebrew supply, Midwest homebrew supply. And no one's around except me and the dogs. So we're gonna try this, all right? Henry injured her dew claw, so we had to go to the, uh, the uh, veterinary today. So that's kind of, we're getting a late start here, but she seems to be okay. And Midgey, Midgey pulled a muscle in his back leg, so we're not throwing the frisbee for him, and he cannot understand why we are not throwing the frisbee. So we're just gonna ignore the frisbee for now, okay? All right, a couple of things here. This is a food grade plastic uh, bucket. It's what I call a brew bucket. I got this from uh, the homebrew supply place. This is a six gallon bucket. Has a neat lid with a hole in it, and I've got some bleach, a little bit of bleach and water in there. We're gonna bleach this. Don't touch that. Um, we have to clean all this up, so everything that gonna, gets in contact with the cider has to be cleaned, so we're gonna clean this. That's already cleaned up, and that is a dog that wants his frisbee thrown. Okay, so this all gets cleaned up. Be careful, this is uh, bleach and water. Don't get it on your clothes, especially when you wear black clothes, because it's gonna make them white. Take all this and clean it up. Okay, so here we're gonna fill up this bucket with water because we just wanna wash off all the apples. And then we've got the press right here. I just rinsed it all down. Okay, of course, I've never done this before, um, but we have a bunch of apples. They go into the grinder here, and then we'll see what happens. Don't use apples that have uh, mushy spots on them. You can cut the mushy part or rotted part out. No, you can't have these. All right. Start cranking this down. It tastes very light. It's not like really strong like cider that you buy in the store, but this is good. Um, ideally, you would have five gallons. This is a six gallon container. You'd have like five, five and a half gallons in it. We only have, I think about three here, but we'll see what happens. I have a little airlock on here. It keeps air from going back into the bucket and it lets carbon dioxide escape when it bubbles. So we'll take this, pour this into our fermentation bucket. This was, this was totally flat four hours ago and then you you squeeze it and pop the little nutrient packet in here, and then boom. Whoa. 
put our lid on with our airlock. Mix it up too, by the way, remember to mix it up. So that, uh, now this is how we make hard cider. You have, you know, ideally if you have your own apples and you have a press, you Be press set. it. And then uh, put it in your sterilized container with your cider yeast and uh, let it bubble. I mean, ideally, there's, there's people that are really into this and I'm sure they'll leave comments about this. Um, but it's really quite simple to do. After the cider is finished ferment, fermenting in the bucket, then you, it's called racking. You basically pour it into another bucket, or if you have a glass carboy, you can use those. And you leave the sediment at the bottom, and it ferments more, and then you bottle it. And when you bottle it, you can add a little more priming sugar, and you can carbonate it. But I like kind of a dry cider, so I'm not going to carbonate it. So it's been a couple of weeks now. It's been, it was like, it was about two weeks in the plastic fermenter, and then it's been about three or four weeks in these bottles. So it's, it's not beer, it's cider. But Bill came over and we're gonna sample it now. We're gonna see what this is like. This, this isn't carbonated. This is just, um, this is what they call dry cider. So let's see if it makes a sound. Ooh, a little bit of a sound. A little bit of a sound. There's a mosquito. This is a mosquito. This is a brisk fall day. How could there possibly be a mosquito? That's a good, a good, beautiful honey color. Very clear. Ooh, has an excellent nose. Ready? I'm ready. It'd be a little sweeter, I'd say. That's tart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's tart. Nah, it's stuck in the old tongue out of my mouth. <laughs> That's pretty tart. That's, uh... Is it going to get sweeter than that with time, or...? I don't think so. I read that they said that the secret to this is the right mix of apples, and I just grabbed a bunch of apples. I didn't think about how they tasted, because, you know, we just went to the orchard and picked a bunch, so... Yeah, that's not what I expected, but... What can you do? It's an experiment. It's so. kind of like it's a little vinegary tasting. This would be an excellent uh, apple vinegar. Actually. It would be, yeah, yeah. For wine, I mean for uh, salad dressing. Yeah. Okay, right. so instead of uh, apple cider, it's apple vinegar. Yeah, it's a sweet. All right, so there you go. That's our uh, our hard cider episode. It's very exciting. Um, not the greatest taste after all, but you can do this kind of thing. It's really quite simple. Um, and that's it. So thanks for watching. Tell your friends about the show and make it a good day, all right? See you later.